grade 6 math number 7.2 circle graphs a circle graph shows data information as part of a whole each category is shown as a wedge in the circle each wedge is called a sector and the size of the sector helps us compare the size of the categories here's a pie graph or circle graph right here and you can see all the wedges don't they look like slices of pie all right Depending on the size of each sector, you know the percentage of the circle. So the entire circle represents 100%, and each sector is a portion or part of that 100%. So here's a circle graph of Bob's day. It shows how much time he spends on each thing. So we can see what he spends the most time on is sleeping and going to school, watching TV and doing homework. And what he spends the least amount of time on is taking a bath and brushing his teeth because it doesn't take that long, see? So from this circle graph, we can see what percentage of the day Bob spends doing things. We can split the circle into sectors by percentages. Half of it would be 50%, one-fourth of it would be 25%. Three-fourths of it would be 75%. See, because it's all part of 100%. Half of it's 50%, so a little bit less than half would be 40%. See, and here's the 10% to add to the 40 to make it a half, 50 one third of it would be 33 percent see there's a protractor it's a tool used to draw and measure angles it's a little clear plastic tool I'm going to show you one in a second and it's got a hole in it right here it's a circle and it's got a measuring line here and then it's got degree measures coming around the outside and also around on the inside going the opposite direction to measure the opposite way 10% of a circle is 36 degrees on a protractor. So you can use a protractor to make your own circle graphs or pie charts. They are called pie charts because each sector looks like a slice of pie. So we can use the protractor to measure the angles of each sector. 36 degrees is 10% of the pie, 10% of the circle. Half of 36 is 18. Half of 10 is 5, so we know 18 degrees is 5%. So if you wanted to make your own circle graph, you could use a protractor and know that each 5% is 18 degrees and each 10% is 36 degrees. Now I'm going to show you this closer. You can look at this and see where it says Westcott in between the T and C. There's a, there's a hole in it right by the measure 3. Can you see? Here, let me turn it this way. It says two, three, and four along here to measure. And if you look very carefully, there is a hole in between the T and the C and the three. Well, that's where you would put a compass to help you measure to draw angles also. This is a protractor. By lining this up with this line right here along this line, and the hole along with the center of our circle, we can line it up and we can see that it lines up with 90 degrees. Can you see this right here? It says 90 degrees. See? Do you remember from our math that 90 degrees is a right angle? When you have a right angle like this, that's a 90 degree angle, right? Well, that's also 25 degrees percent of a circle. It's one-fourth of a circle. See? That's a right angle. So the protractor will help us draw it and to get each 10 percent all we have to do is get 36 percent between the zero mark here and here. Then we know we've got 10 percent of our circle and you can make your own circle graph, your own pie chart, okay? Using a protractor. The reason that 36 degrees is 10 percent is because there's 360 degrees in a circle. And if we split that into tens, it'll be 36 for each one. We're going to get more into that as we get deeper into geometry. And I'll tell you all about that when we get to there. So now you can make your own circle graphs. You can make your own pie charts, okay? Maybe you can make one of your day and what you spend percentage of your day doing, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.